Welcome back and thank you for staying tuned. You're watching ADBN News at 7. And now to developments in healthcare. In a significant development for Nigeria's healthcare sector, the African Medical Center of Excellence's Cyclone Facility in Abuja is set to revolutionize medical diagnostics and treatment across the region. The CEO of the African Medical Center of Excellence, Mr. Brian Diva, announced that the facility, which has been under construction since July 2022, will officially open on the 5th of June 2025. Here's the report. The facility, the first of five plants in Africa, aims to enhance the ability to detect previously undiagnosed conditions. While fielding questions from the media, the CEO of the African Medical Center for Excellence, Mr. Brian Diva, emphasized the facility's potential to enhance visibility in medical diagnostics. What we want to do is transfer knowledge, transfer all the knowledge that we're bringing in, um, and of course, I mentioned Dr. Aisha, she's one of the foremost experts in hematology in Nigeria. She's on our team. We're very fortunate. We want to transfer that knowledge to other hospitals, other experts, other specialists in this area. The whole purpose in the African Medical Center of Excellence is to make sure that all boats rise, right? We want to provide training opportunities for nurses, for doctors. In fact, we have a, uh, we have a presentation um, a little bit later this month with the, National, uh, the Nigerian Council of Governors, or Governor's Council, whereby we'll be meeting with all of the governors from every state, and we'll be offering educational opportunities for their healthcare professionals. So, in addition to the technology that we're bringing in, we will be also providing, as we mentioned, uh, isotopes and other uh, medical technology to other hospitals in hopes that there will be additional investment. We want to encourage and promote and spark investment in healthcare all throughout this area. And by doing that, we will become one of the premier healthcare centers in the subregion. Dr. Aisha Omar, the chief medical officer for AMCE, revealed that this center would specialize in oncology, cardiology, and hematology, with the capacity to treat up to 150,000 patients annually. She added that there are plans for a second phase that will expand services to other medical specialties. The second phase of the project would be expanding and scaling up some of our services, all right? So we have a couple of services that would not start techniques and specializations, but the, the expansion is the one we talk about first because we want to see how uh, our services would be taken up before we expand to other services and space management. So when we open the 340 beds, we may also include other services that have not been included in the first phase of oncology, cardiology, and hematology. Vice President of LATAM at IBA Radio Pharma Solutions, Mr. Ambrosio Moreno, stated that the facility will provide access to advanced diagnostics technologies. What we're going to do here is to install a radio pharmacy with a cyclotron. The cyclotron is the machine, the particle accelerator that will uh, produce the isotopes, radioisotopes that are suitable to be injected in a human being. Um, once uh, this production is finished, uh, you they will be able to use the PET imaging equipment that they're going to install here. Now the secret is that you need to have a cyclotron not too far from the PET imaging equipment because the activity that you get in the radioisotope is not very high and what we call the half-life, that is the, 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 the time period that the activity reduces to half, is very short in these sort of isotopes. This state-of-the-art facility marks a significant milestone in Nigeria's healthcare landscape and promises to enhance the well-being of countless individuals across the nation. Ama Marcus, reporting for ADBN News.